it's me from the neighborhood Padaha and today I'm going to do the blow dryer version of the gelatin protein treatment. Um, so far today, first thing I did is before I got, well I did an overnight uh, coconut oil treatment. I'll put a link to that somewhere probably up here. Um, then I did, I mixed up the gelatin protein treatment, which the version I did, I did a quarter cup of water, uh, just a touch, like just a tiny sprinkling of citric acid to um, bring the pH up a little bit and a sixteenth of a teaspoon of magnesium sulfate because that helps it coagulate when you do the blow dryer version because you want it to not be running as quickly as it possible for it not being running. Then I got in the shower and I washed my hair with Shea Moisture Moisture Retention Shampoo. Um, you technically don't have to shampoo, but it's best if you do because it just, if it, the protein treatments go on cleaner hair, especially if you're going to go to the trouble of doing the super strong gelatin protein treatment, then the heck. So, I'm going to start to apply it now. I'm wearing this instead of my sweatshirt because I know for um, a fact that if you get gelatin on your clothing and then it dries like from the blow dryer it's never ever coming out it's going to stay hard and crunchy forever so wear something that you don't care about um even though i might look naked in the preview picture sorry creepy people who wanted to see me naked i don't think that that would be a very high number of people that would want to see me naked and i doubt that they'd stumble across this video but if you did hey um, so, uh, a trick for applying this is a lot of people take and do put it in a squeeze bottle and I think that's probably the smartest way to do it, but um, I don't do it that way because that would require some forethought and work and whatever. So what I like to do is somebody else came up with this tip, it wasn't me. Oh, did I mention I towel dried my hair? I don't think I did. I also towel dried my hair with a flour sack towel, which, um, you want to do because it's very drippy and you don't need any of the extra water. So I take, I want you want the most on your ends. So to make sure I get it on my ends, I just dip them in. So I hope I don't get any of this stuff on my pajama pants. And normally I just would apply this in the shower, you know, just right, you know, right after you get out or whatever. I mean, right before you get out. So you'd be in here and you'd be naked and, you know, whatever. So then I sort of take and pour it and just kind of I'm reaching in and grabbing some and just distributing it and just trying to get it so it's all over. Get it, make sure I get it in the front and get it everywhere. Now I'm sort of pouring it. I'm pressing it down the hair to distribute it. Distributed pretty well. Now, when my hair was shorter, I just sort of put it up in a bun, squash it up against my head, and call it a day. But I found that now that my hair is longer, my hair is also thin, keep in mind, so that might not work for you if you had thick hair. You just want to take and kind of make little, maybe I'll just make little buns just to make sure they stay a little better. And squash those as flat to my head as I can. Because if it's too thick, it just doesn't ever want to dry. Be careful not to slip too because I can feel the tub is pretty slippery. Anyway, 
you get the idea. You just want to get it like kind of up and smashed. And maybe I'll just, I've even got a clip in here somewhere. I'll take and clip some of this up just for now until, because once it gets, once it starts to get um, set with the blow dryer, then it's just going to stay anyway, so it won't be a problem. You can see I got another one. Over here, I get gelatin in my eye. Don't fall. So, anyway, um, I'll be back. Um, stay tuned. Okay, so the next step is to blow dry. Um, you also want to have a rag handy for drips, like the rag, rag also that you just don't care about. Let's see, this is going to go back with these reasons. So you're going to start on low until it kind of sets. It'll start to get hard so you can tell it's not going to move. And then you can turn the blower up. like that you get it I'll be back okay so as this is starting to dry I'm starting just trying to get it as flattened out you know it'll start to stay easier and start to just flatten it out as much as possible because you don't want you don't want it to be thick this way because then it's hard to get it to dry okay so like I'm just going to take a section here sort of twist it it doesn't even have to be in any shape because just as long as it's sort of drying So then as soon as you've got it um, so it's staying well enough, it's not blowing around, that it's set well enough that it's not blowing around, you can turn your uh, blower up to high to just get it dry. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go sit under my hooded dryer, but I can show you that like... Okay, I'm back and my hair is dry and crunchy. So, and this is gelatin, it's not a skin disease. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to rinse it out. Now, um, oh, first I need to point out that you should not do a protein treatment unless you really know you need one, especially not this one, because this one is super strong. It's, this is for people who have Fine, very fine hair that needs a lot of protein, very damaged hair that needs a lot of protein, or maybe if you've got a lot of kinks in your hair. But this is not, this blow dryer protein is one of the strongest proteins out there. And if you do it on the wrong kind of hair, like coarse, low porosity hair, you're not going to be happy. It's going to be dry and breaking and not good. So, anyway, so I mixed up a deep treatment. This is honey and some oils and a little bit of shea butter and some um, Ren Pure Organics conditioner. And I'll put that in my hair after I rinse it out. Um, when you rinse out your hair, as you're going to see, it takes, you have to kind of rehydrate it a bit with the water so it'll come out because at first it seems like it'll never wash out, but then it does. And I'll just rinse it out and there's not, not really a whole lot to watching that. And then I'm just going to draw my hair with a flower sack towel, put my deep treatment in and style as usual. So feel free to stop watching now because there's not a whole lot of interesting left. <laughs> but. Oh and that's it. Thanks for watching Ways of the Wavies. <laughs>